This video demonstrates interactive installation of Process Automation Manager Agent and Touchpoint configuration. Before installing Agent make sure that a supported version of a JRE is installed. To verify we can execute Java minus version command. Launch Process Automation Console. Type in login details and click on Login. Click the Configuration tab. Click the Installation Palette. Click Install button under Install Agent. Click OK, or select another language, and click OK. Click Next. Read the license. If you accept the terms, click I accept the terms of the license agreement. Click Next. Enter the path of the JRE directory and click Next. If required change the default location to install PAM agent then click Next. Click Next to accept CA Process Automation Agent as your start menu shortcut or type a new name and click Next. Verify the domain URL and the URL of the domain orchestrator from which you launch the agent installation. Click Next. If you launch the agent installation from a Windows host, select Install as Windows Service. To have agent started after install, select Start Agent after installation option and click Next. Click Next to accept the default temporary directory for executing scripts or enter another path and then click Next. If want to use Windows PowerShell, specify the path to PowerShell and click Next. Installation will begin and progress window is seen. Click Finish to complete the installation. Now, we will configure Touchpoint using the agent install. Open PAM console and go to Configuration tab. Click Refresh. Expand Agents and verify installed agent name is listed. Right-click Default Environment and select Lock. Right-click the agent and select Configure Touchpoint at Default Environment. Type a name for the Touchpoint and click OK. Expand all Touchpoints. Make sure the new Touchpoint is available and its status is enabled. Right-click on Default Environment and select Unlock. Click Yes to save the changes. This concludes the demo. For more information please contact CA support. Thanks for watching this video.